Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to talk to you about the hormonal response from weight training and how that impacts on muscle growth, if at all. So previously it's been believed that if you increase concentration of certain hormones, i.e. testosterone, growth hormone, etc., that this will amplify the muscle growth that you could get in other body parts. So hypothetically, if someone did a high volume leg workout and then went and trained their arms, their leg workout would increase concentration of certain hormones like growth hormone, and then you get greater gains in your arm training because you have higher levels of those hormones within your body. On paper, it sounds like a brilliant theory. People do think that growth hormone, testosterone, etc., will obviously help increase muscle mass. So if you can increase these hormones and then train another body part, why wouldn't it work? So lots of programs were designed around hormonal manipulation, lots of leg training prior to arm work, etc., etc. Now, the research on this, I'm going to give you one study in a little bit more detail, and then I'm give, going to give you three studies very brief bullet point cliff notes so you can form your own conclusions. So study number one, 15 weeks in duration, it employed a within person design. What this means is that if I was a participant, on one day I would train this arm, on another day I would train this arm, but I would train it alongside a high volume leg workout. Then over the course of 15 weeks we look at muscle growth in the two arms and see if there was a difference. So, in this 15 week long study, they looked at um, IGF-1, testosterone, and growth hormone. In this group, I, when I trained this arm and a high volume leg workout, there was a, a significant increase in those hormones 15 and 30 minutes post-workout. So, leg training on top of arm training definitely increased IGF-1, testosterone, and growth hormone. Excellent. However, the big however, over the course of 15 weeks, this did not translate into greater muscle growth. So this is why you need to be cautious. When people say that you can increase growth hormone, which will in turn increase muscle mass, this is an extrapolation which is dubious because increasing growth hormone won't automatically increase muscle mass. So the increased concentration in growth hormone, testosterone and IGF-1, did not translate to greater muscle growth in this arm. In fact, this arm gained 10% in cross-sectional area, but this arm gained 12%. So this is a big strike against the theory that you can manipulate hormones, which will then in turn increase muscle mass. However, you know me, I like to be objective and present both sides of the coin, if there are two sides to the coin. There are other studies which have opposing views. So in similar design studies where they looked at arm training versus arm plus leg training, one study showed that leg plus arm training outperformed arm training alone in terms of strength. However, muscle gain itself wasn't studied. But performing leg work alongside arm work increased strength in arms versus arm training alone. In another study, it showed that leg plus arm work increased muscle growth compared to arm training alone. So we have studies supporting the idea and we have studies refuting the idea. In an analysis of the research which looked at specific hormones and their correlation to muscle mass, there were no significant correlations with free testosterone um, or IGF-1 on lean body mass. However, there were weak correlations with um, growth hormone and cortisol. So there was an 8% correlation with growth hormone to type 2 fibres and there was 12% correlation with cortisol. So cliff notes of the video. Definitively speaking, we cannot say for sure that leg training prior to arm training would increase arm growth. There are studies supporting it and there are studies refuting it. So anyone that has a, a definitive absolute stance in this is perhaps being a little bit, um, a bit too keen because it isn't that clear cut. In instances where leg training did improve response from arm training, 
the differences were modest. So at best we have a 12% increase um, or correlation from cortisol. So for your average gym trainee, this probably doesn't mean much. For your bodybuilder who's trying to seek out every tiny little bit of progress they can, it might be important and it might be pertinent. So that's it. Please feel free to ask questions. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training. And I'm also on Twitter and on Instagram with BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.